Round one is a symmetry round. Four quarter turns starting from the front. The judges will ask for the front relaxed position. Of course, you're never going to be in a totally relaxed position. Quarter turn to the right and hitting your side pose. Again, you'll notice I had the arm twisted slightly. Quarter turn to the rear, obviously making your back as wide as you can. Watch the calves always. Remember, they're looking at everything, not just your back. Another quarter turn to your right. Again, always looking to make the waist as small as possible. Get the shoulders squared around. The judge is going to give you a little heat about that. Don't worry about it. And, of course, facing the judges, your final quarter turn. And you're going to go right into the mandatories, starting with the front double bicep. Now, you'll notice the front double bicep is going to be your best shot, usually. You can do that with a staggered stance, as I just showed, keeping the upper body as, as upright as you can get with a vacuum pose, I prefer. A lot of the shorter guys will hit their abs. Front lat, no tricks here. Remember, every pose starts from the ground up. You'll notice I flex my legs at the bottom of every shot, and then the upper body. We're going to go right into the side chest, and I'm going to show you something here. Let's freeze that right there. Now, you'll notice in my side chest, okay, there's no air between my elbow and my body. I'm talking about my right elbow. That's a common mistake you see a lot of amateurs doing is they got that arm chicken winged out there, all right, to try to show that chest. Or they bring their chest down, which is always a mistake in my opinion. Keep the chest up, more the old school look like you've seen Arnold and Franco and a lot of the old timers doing. Again, it shows the size of the chest and the thickness. And let's keep that rolling now. Again, the legs are, are posed, calves are flexed. Again, keep your arms in and keep it under the rib cage to bring that chest up. We're going to go right to the side. Try either side. They're going to ask for your either uh, your best side. And you can freeze that right there. Now, once again, depending on where the judges are sitting, you should always check that out when you take the stage. The judges are usually spread out in front of you. Now, if when you're looking out to the audience and you're hitting this right side try, you're going to notice that the judge to your left is not going to be able to see your tricep. You have to rotate around in order to show the judge what you got. Now, let's keep going. I'm going to show you how I rotate and freeze it right there. Okay, and you'll notice that just, just that little bit of a move, okay, show the judge what you got. They can only judge in what they can see. So don't be afraid to move your body back and forth a little bit. Again, depending on where you are, especially if you're on one side of the stage or the other. So always be aware of where the judges are. Okay, we're going to be moving on now to the back. So a quarter turn to your back. Again, the leg is spread out now. Freeze it right there for a second. Now, you'll notice that I put my right leg out and I cocked my knee out. Okay, you're going to do that for a couple of reasons. One, you can notice the sweep on my leg that shows to the right. Okay, if your leg is pitched in, if your knee is in towards your other leg, it's not going to show your legs at their advantage. So get yourself a nice staggered stance. You'll also notice I'm not afraid to put that leg uh, a couple of feet back behind me. That's for balance. How many times do you guys see somebody on stage, they lose their balance when they hit a back double bicep shot? Okay, so now the legs are posed. I'm going to now go into the back double by. You can do this a variety of ways. I like to spread my arms out, and you can freeze it right there. Now, you're going to notice right here, I got my elbow spread out as wide as I can. I'm showing not only back width, but back thickness. Okay, very important. You're going to see a lot of guys that kind of scrunch their shoulder blades together when they hit this pose, and it doesn't show the width. Uh, width is very important when it comes to bodybuilding and when it comes to displaying your physique. So always spread that out. A lot of guys like to crunch it back, and then they'll spread it out. That's fine. Uh, but the end result always has to be that nice, wide shot. Okay, you're going to go right into the lat spread now. I'm going to freeze it there. And you're going to notice I'm showing the lower back, that the old Christmas tree, okay? So get that little bit of a pause, okay? If we can get that back and forth, uh, you can see that you can show the Christmas tree. Uh, and then you're going to spread it out, freeze it there. Now, again, as wide as you can get, get those shoulder blades flared out. You don't want, you should not be seeing your shoulder blades chicken wing outing in the back of you. Okay, and you see a lot of guys doing that. This is not a power shot. Okay, you want to spread this out as wide as you can. Again, same position with the legs. You can switch up the legs if you want. That's up to you. Uh, it just depends on what you're comfortable with. All right, but show the width. Also remember that the judges are sitting below you. All right, so in this pose, you do not want to lean forward. Again, away from the judging. If anything, you're going to lean back a little bit to give it a better perspective. All right, the more you lean away from the judges, the smaller you're going to look. It's that simple. Okay, continuing on, next pose you're going to hear called is the front abdominal shot. Hit the leg first. Again, every pose starts from the ground up. 
You're going to blow all the air out. When you blow the air out, it comes from the diaphragm, not just from the mouth. Okay, that's how you get the abs cinched in there and real tight. Make that waist as small as you can. They're now going to ask for your favorite most muscular. You can use a hands-on, hand-clasp approach like a Sean Ray style or the traditional crab shot, which I like to do. And there you have it, the mandatories all in a row, showing your physique to the best you can.